We're going to talk about this morning a church, the Church of the Latter-day Saints. You probably know it as the Mormon Church. The Mormon Church had its beginnings on a farm in upstate New York about 150 years ago. It was controversial then, and it's been a topic of conversation for Christian people ever since, as Meredith Lewis tells you in this anniversary piece. In 1827, Joseph Smith, a young New York farm boy, said he saw an angel who gave him the Book of Mormon, describing the second coming of Christ in America. As the Mormons grew in numbers, so did outrage against them. Mobs called the Mormons heretics. In Illinois, a lynch mob killed Joseph Smith and drove the Mormons out. In 1848, Brigham Young led the Mormons westward. When they reached the valley of the Great Salt Lake, Young said the Mormons had been delivered into the Promised Land. But these early Mormons were the focus of intense curiosity. Fifteen percent of them practiced polygamy. Brigham Young himself had 27 wives. When the federal government threatened to dissolve Mormon holdings, they gave up polygamy in 1890. From Salt Lake City, Utah, the Mormon Church today oversees the religious life of nearly five million believers on every continent. Mormon missionaries are sent into many third world nations. And here at home, Mormons believe that disaster relief is a form of charity, and they help victims recover from the Teton Dam collapse. Mormon principles stress the importance of family life, forbidding alcohol, coffee, tea, and tobacco. Spencer Kimball is the 85-year-old prophet of the Mormon Church. We believe in a strict code of morality for all our people, both men and women, youth, that they should maintain a clean sexual life before they were married and total fidelity after they're married. Every man respects his wife, every woman respects her husband. The Mormon Church celebrates its 150th anniversary with its basic principles of faith very much intact. But Mormon leaders believe there is struggle ahead. They think that challenge and dissent will arise from people not outside the church, but from within the ranks of its membership. When blacks were permitted to become lay priests two years ago, the Mormons finally resolved an age-old stigma, though blacks did not rush to join the Mormon church. The church also has a long-standing perception of the role of women. Mother's place is in the home, and too many mothers have left their families. Sonia Johnson was excommunicated by the Mormon church for attacking its opposition to the Equal Rights Amendment. People are wondering, can I have, can I have political freedom in the church? Do I have to be right-wing to be a good member of the Mormon church? In its early days, the Mormons were persecuted as a group by many outsiders. Today, some Mormons fear that, on the inside, church leaders have become repressive and make no room for differences of opinion. For today, Meredith Lewis, NBC News in Salt Lake City.